Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. And before I start, do remember to mask up and stay safe. Stay at home and maintain distance. So today's video, as you have already seen from the title, is the start of my entire perfume collection. Even as I'm mentioning this, I really don't know how how well this video will go and how much are you going to like it because i know for one that i am very very nervous i've never done this kind of video before i even avoid you know top 20 lists uh, these days and uh, i have you know kind of segregated my collection um, in my own way and uh, so far the first batch has the first batch has 26 perfumes so without further delay let's get started with the video and one more thing guys i'm not going to get too much into the notes and everything because then i might make some more mistakes as I, as i just told you i'm very nervous so i'll just tell you about the perfume and maybe just share a few words about how much i like them so starting with uh, the letter a so this is uh, our muff Club de Nuit Intense, uh, a real affordable fragrance, but an amazing, amazing quality fragrance. And uh, this is what this is something that I've shown a number of times, and I've mentioned that this perfume actually uh, encouraged me to pursue my uh, interest in oud, and quite rightly so because this is an amazing fragrance. Seriously, within this price, the Perfume promises an amazing uh, longevity, amazing projection, awesome sillage, everything. This is like total package and for an unbelievable price. I cannot say enough for this brand or this perfume and I really don't feel like calling it a cheapy or a duplicate or a replica of uh, Noir de Noir because I feel this has enough quality to offer. The next perfume is um, Armani. Armani code and uh, you know for some reason I don't know why I did not use why I did not use this perfume more often in the winters this is an awesome fragrance and I get a lot of the honey and the sandalwood on an on an average this is a very this has a very good longevity and amazing projection and a very uh, a very enticing fragrance for that matter the next fragrance that I have here is uh, Alexandra J. This is called Iris Violet. This is a this is a beautiful powdery vanilla, and uh, it's got a kind of cotton candy fluffiness to it, which I just love. Uh, and I've worn a lot of this in the in the winters when it arrived. The only thing I I have to say as much as I love the perfume I'm not too fond of the packaging which is pretty difficult uh, slip here and there and you are really done for takes a lot of time arranging them they could have really done with a better bottle better packaging the outer packaging is amazing but this bottle is something that needs attention but the perfume is absolutely gorgeous especially uh, for youngsters and uh, for people who love happy perfumes, nothing serious, nothing too intense. This is something to go for. The next perfume that I come across, uh, the next perfume that I'm coming to is from the brand Atelier de Source. And this is, of course, one of my favorite vanillas, but uh, not the best vanilla in my opinion. This is Lune Feline. And uh, uh, this is at the opening a beautiful rasmalai kind of beautiful cozy warm vanilla sweetness to it this is purely gourmand except for one thing if you see i've had it for over a year now but i've used very little of it the reason being not that it cannot be used in the summer not on a hot day of course but yes somewhere on a cool breezy day you can always use it you don't have to wait for the winters and the fall seasons but the reason that i have not reached out much for it is probably this the hint of smokiness that that comes for a while and somehow it irritates me i don't know why they had to put that in this but uh, i don't like that much the next uh, perfume that i have is also from atelia desource and it's called crepuscule des and this is from the white cap collection 
this this is a collection that signifies light radiance hopes and uh, kind of new beginnings you know like that which is very very encouraging for the time being to me this is a blind by worthy uh, perfume i just love this perfume it's kind of strong but it's not cloying there's a hint of freshness and then there's an intensity very strong projection very good longevity very good siage everything works well for it and um i think uh, in my opinion this can go as a all the year round fragrance um as much as i have not been able to like uh, lune feline despite um despite the hype and despite my love for vanilla and that sweetness in there but i think i've liked crepuscule much more um among the two so now i come to the next uh, a which comes as amouage this is i don't know this is amouage uh, honor this is a quintessential white florals and tuberose kind of tuberose fragrance and though i have always maintained that i am not very comfortable with the tuberose note it kind of gets to me at times but this is one such fragrance that i have been very nice to me and uh, i have used it quite i use it quite often only for special occasions because this is a very um, you know kind of niche kind of fragrance not just because it's a niche or the brand is niche or anything like that but then there are some perfumes that you feel is like a complete wastage if you're wearing it carelessly they they deserve special attention when you're wearing them you just can't take them out and wear them you need to know where you're going and what's the occasion like to be able to wear them so amouage honor is one such perfume and that's why i wear it very judiciously and reserve it only for special occasions then so the next perfume that i have here is again from amouage and this is called lilac love one of the most beautiful floral powdery fragrances that I've come across it's got an amazing softness to it and at the same time that softness works so powerfully when you're wearing it it's quite strong the longevity and the projection is is very impressive the opening comes across as a bit of a soft powdery kind of thing it has got lilac but then i find the presence of gardenia is far more stronger in this beautiful beautiful perfume and the last in the a category is andy towers la uh, lair to desert moroccan i hope i got the name correctly and this is also god this is so beautiful it's a hot day but when you sniff a perfume as amazing as this you really feel like wearing it but this is not exactly a summer perfume this is more of a you know cold day kind of perfume winter fall you know when there's a cold breeze out there and you know these are the kind of fragrances that you would want to wear this to me is a beautiful woody spicy dry kind of fragrance but the dryness is not um, not very masculine in nature it's perfectly niche uh, it's perfectly unisex everyone can wear it but yes you need to be aware of where you're wearing it so that you feel comfortable wearing it so we come to b and uh, I am a, it seems like I'm kind of a rookie when it comes to uh, doing declutters and fragrance collection videos of course uh, because uh, you know when I did my declutter video last time one of you mentioned that you should have done the whole collection first and then the declutter videos and you are absolutely right and I, that's my my mistake but again lack of experience so i had a bdk which has already been sold out so that's another thing that i need to mention here i received quite a few messages on instagram asking for i received quite a few messages on instagram asking for the prices of uh, the certain perfumes that i mentioned in the declutter video and i regretfully answered that uh, they have already been sold i had no idea that you know as i do my declutter i i kind of announce it here so that you guys if anyone within india is interested they can take it from me but uh, i'm sorry about that uh, my apologies next time whenever i'm decluttering whenever i'm deciding to do away with the fragrance they will either be announced on this channel or on instagram so i'll keep that in mind so the next fragrance so coming to b i only have one fragrance but this is an amazing fragrance and main and one of my best buys of 2021 so this is balenciaga's flora botanica 
this is so amazing amazing is an understatement actually this is a bit freshy bit of a freshy a little watery you know it has amazingly light rose vibe to it and then there is a little bit of earthiness a little bit of woodiness to give that bal sweetness and that wateriness a little base it it works wonderfully i just love this fragrance the bottle looks good everything is amazing about this fragrance and that's that being the only b in my collection so let's go to c and there's a whole lot there so first i'm going to start with my christian dior collection and and there's a helicopter passing by okay the first fragrance that i'm going to show you is dior pure poison this is an amazing fragrance beautiful floral white floral fragrance with a base of sandalwood it works wonderfully on my skin and my clothes i feel this is more like a this is perfect for an office fragrance but this this is also perfect for all those places where you would like to wear something low profile something not too shiny not too you know loud or in your face kind of fragrances this is such a sober dignified and elegant kind of a perfume the next fragrance i have here is something that i grew up with though this is a newer bottle this is the miss dior 2017 edition this is actually from my mother's collection and i don't think i need to introduce this too much here i think this is a perfume that we all are kind of grew up seeing on our mother's dresses and an iconic perfume the longevity the siage the presentation everything is so amazing you just apply a few sprays of this fragrance and you leave the room the room still you know echoes with the fragrance so i really don't need to say much about this the next fragrance i did not want to include it here this is one of my favorite fragrances and by mistake i will be doing a separate video on uh, my decants and my samples so this will come in that this is fev delicious and i will not talk much about it because this is going to come again in the next video the next uh, fragrance from christian dior i have is addict again beautiful vanilla white florals and of course i still get that hint of sandalwood here i cannot deny that an amazing amazing fragrance a uh, seductive romantic this is a must have fragrance if you like romantic perfumes and it works wonderfully for all those romantic occasions the next fragrance i have here is again from my mother's collection collection this is from my mother's collection this is shador and again another iconic fragrance this is a very old bottle and i really don't need to introduce too much uh, of it to you guys because i know you know about it and the last from christian dior that i have and the last from christian dior that i have here is one of my most precious possessions i got this through some friends in the frank fragrance community and i cannot thank them enough this this is the discontinued gris montaigne from the private blends collection and this is so amazing this is so amazing i wore it as a scent of the day yesterday so you know with the whole collection out of the cupboard and on the tables i am like, like really spoiled for choice right now i'm getting to see so many of them after a long time so um you know the newer version of this is the Cree Dior which again I hear is very beautiful very amazing I have only sniffed that once so it's kind of fading in my memory I will not be able to say much about that but I will try to get a sample or a decant or maybe a miniature of Cree Dior and do a comparison between the two but as far as I remember Cree Dior was a tad bit uh, green in the opening um, but I'm not too sure anymore because it's been quite some time but i'm just i consider myself very lucky i've got this so and with c yes you might be thinking i'll start with chanel but yes i've quite a few chanels over here but no the first fragrance that i'm going to start with is chopard's oud malaki this is uh, marketed more for men but you know me i i just love fragrances this is such a beautiful oud woody oud kind of fragrance a little bit of spiciness is there and there's nothing that says it's 
all about men. I think women who love oud fragrances, spicy fragrances, creamy fragrances. Yeah, there's quite a lot of creaminess to it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's perfectly unisex. In the same way that this is marketed more for women but this again if you like light florals and you know soft kind of fragrances even a man can use it so even i can safely say you know me i don't wear overtly main manly fragrances or masculine fragrances but this one amazing amazing fragrance Another shop art that I have in my collection is a beautiful bottle this is called cashmere and uh, it's a beautiful floral vanilla kind of fragrance amazing amazing fragrance and for a price that's unbelievable this is a very high quality fragrance at a very pocket friendly price at a very pocket friendly price the next C that I'm going to bring out here is this beautiful iconic bestseller of 2019 just look at her isn't she gorgeous and the perfume is amazing i think i've spoken a lot about this one um, earlier on and i have not used it much in 2020 i will use it this year but with the lockdown situation and we hardly go out so there's you know this kind of intense fragrances don't get they are not always used when in an at-home situation but this is this is to me a beautiful tonka bean vanilla jasmine and tuberose fragrance even though the tuberose is here uh, but I don't find uh, the tuberose as too cloying or annoying that I usually find. Um, it doesn't get to me in the, as in other fragrances. So this is really a big favorite of mine. And then I come to another beautiful fragrance and this is D600 from the house of Ghana, Barcelona. Amazing fragrance and I feel this is again one in the cat same category as Pure Poison. Very office-like and very low profile fragrance where you want people to know that you're wearing something but not exactly what. And at the same time it doesn't get to people. Like there are certain somber occasions where you need to play it low profile with your perfumes. And at the same time being a fragaholic you may not be able to go without one. So these are kind of fragrances that you need to choose on such days. And now we come to Chanel, quite a few of them actually. <laughs> I don't think I've spoken this fast on any of my earlier videos. So pardon me if you are not able to follow me, but I have no choice. I have quite a few uh, fragrances to cover. And even as, despite speaking too fast, I, I know I'm going to have a 20 minute video, which you're going to hate anyway. So the first fragrance that I'm going to show here is from Chanel is again another iconic fragrance this is also from my mother's collection and I don't think this will ever get finished this is Chanel number five this is a massive 200 bot 200 ml bottle uh, I'm not too fond of this fragrance because maybe because it's been overused in my life uh, there have been so many Chanel 5 miniatures middle size bottles this is the last that we bought which is a massive 200 ml bottle so you know uh, you know apart from tuberose i don't think i've spoken too many too much about the notes that i don't like in fragrances and uh one being tuberose which i've spoken because i have too many floral fragrances and tuberose is not one that i choose too often the other note that i am not particularly fond of the other note, other fragrance note that I'm not particularly fond of is aldehydes. And this one is probably the reason because, you know, after a while, Chanel 5 or maybe at the opening, I don't remember. I've worn this so many times in my life as a, as a little girl that um, there's that soapiness. There is that, uh, whenever I've spoken about it to other people, they've said, oh, it comes from the aldehydes. So uh, I've seen, yes, later on, Later on, when I've had my own collection, I realized that all my perfumes that has aldehydes has this common thing about that soapiness. So I've come to the conclusion it is the aldehydes that I don't particularly like. And uh, so this is not exactly one of my favorite fragrances, but not that notwithstanding, this is one of the most... Uh, respected fragrances in the world the best seller of all times and also a very very popular fragrance 
and that's not to say that this is this has nothing to offer this is an amazing fragrance by the way it's, it's got a little bit of the powderiness from the floral notes it's got a bit of the creaminess from the vanilla there's a little bit of patchouli over there that the thing from the patchouli so everything is there but somewhere i don't know why this is not exactly my favorite i don't hate it but I, not exactly my favorite the next fragrance that i would like to mention here is Coco Chanel. This is again from my own collection. This is the best example of a usually spicy fragrances are dry to my opinion in my opinion but uh, this is one of those rare fragrances that has got a little bit of spiciness and a lot of creaminess, a lot of powderiness. An amazing fragrance with an impeccable with an impeccable longevity and projection. Oh uh, uh, again this is one of those fragrances that i use very judiciously um i use it with care i use it with a lot of love and for special occasions only the next fragrance that i would like to show here is chanel chance um amazing amazing fragrance very summery very light powdery patchouli perfectly the way i like my fragrances it has got iris it has got patchouli it has got pink pepper and jasmine so uh, you know patchouli and iris are two of my favorite notes again and this is an amazing fragrance in my opinion because it has got the kind of longevity that you would want and the projection is very very um, you know controlled it's not something very loud that's actually that's something that goes with all the chanel fragrances the projection is so controlled and uh, elegantly you know balanced and elegantly balanced that you don't need to worry about is this going to be too much you can wear a chanel and be sorted at all times the next fragrance that i would like to show here is one of my latest purchases and this is from the lay exclusive collection this is coromandel i'm sure you guys remember in my last haul again beautiful 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 fragrance this has got amber this has got rose and jasmine this has got patchouli it has got vanilla musk it has got woodsy notes it, and it has got a note of white chocolate as well there's neroli there's citruses here so it's it's got a mix of everything it's basically it has got this amber woody patchouli feeling to it which i just love and there's that hint of freshness from the neroli and the citruses as well an amazing fragrance again marketed for women but clearly clearly unisex any man can wear it and be comfortable in fact men would like it more than women at times so the next fragrance that i have here is going to be another after balenciaga flora botanica this is again one of my most favorite purchases of 2021 this is chanel chance au fresh and this is such an amazing fragrance such a beautiful fresh green fragrance i cannot say enough about this I cannot say enough about this and this is such a blind by worthy fragrance and you can already see how much I've this is the most that I've worn in the shortest time ever how much I've already used it so now oh my god we have already done with, we are already done with uh, the C category and now we come to D the alphabet D so I have only I've got only two fragrances from Dolce Gabbana that falls under the under the D segment and this is one of my most favorite fragrances from the brand it's called light blue or intense again one of my must have I think any any woman who needs to have a summer fragrance needs to have this this is an amazing amazing fragrance for the summer season fresh I get orange vibes that orange peel that freshness but this has got granny smith apples actually it has got a lot of citruses at the opening this is an amazing fragrance i think i've said enough about this in my earlier videos and this not the typical orange sweetness kind of thing but that citrusy orange feel from it and it's just amazing it's just amazing and you know most of the times we know that fresh fragrances do not tend to last on your skin but this one does and it lasts even longer on your skin so this is like a must-have for every collection no matter no matter how many you have already the next Dolce Gabbana that I have is a completely opposite to the one that I just showed you this is Dolce Gabbana's the only one and again one of my most favorite 
Oh, such a beautiful coffee caramel iris combination. This is this is like a beautiful, gorgeous, seductive, romantic kind of fragrance. A must have for all your date night and romantic night outs kind of uh, situations, kind of encounters in the fall winter months. Uh, this is again one more fragrance that I should, th I've come to the last one anyway, so I can share this much for it, with you. You know, we often talk about sampling the fragrance first before going for a full bottle and we talk about not going for blind buys. Again, this one um, I bought from Sephora and I had actually walked in to buy the one, you know, the golden, the limited edition and all that. So I did not find any of those. This one was there and that very energetic very persuasive sales representative told me to go for it and this is such an amazing fragrance i went for it when i came back home i was not very convinced did i make the right purchase for a few uh, hours i was really not convinced and i thought i made a mistake but it's after a while when i started using it and it was a winter season thankfully so i could use it more often and i completely fell in love with it so it does not matter whether you're buying it from the store or you're buying it blindly online. You need to know what notes you like and then you will definitely like the perfume or even love it at times. So that's it from my part one of this collection. Stay tuned for the next one and the part two coming soon. But I would like to hear more from you in terms of uh, whether I should be posting one after the other or I should be you know, alternating them with other videos. So do let me know that. See you soon in my next one, real soon. Lots of love till then.